Don't buy FIFA points. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Don't buy FIFA points because in this video I'll be showing you the best way to get some packs easily in FIFA 21. Now last week or the week before I think it was, I showed you the value for coins SBCs and there were SBCs that you could complete which were a very, very low value for coins, meaning that you could do them for like 8,000 coins and get like a 35k pack or something like that. So in this video what I've done is I've compiled a list of loads of different squad building challenges that you can complete over team of the year and I'll be showing you exactly what you get back from that. In the description I've got little timestamps if you do want to run through it and I have got the cheapest solutions in the description as well. Make sure to go and check it out. Leds, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. I am doing a giveaway at the minute for a £25 gift card as well. Winner will be announced for that on Wednesday on my Instagram. All you lads need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. Also, comment down below with the best thing that you've packed in Team of the Year because I asked for comments on my video from the other day and that video did ridiculous. So, as many comments as we can. Come on. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So, boys, in this video, I am going to be showing you the best way to get some packs for Team of the Year. This is without spending too much. You can do this on a pretty okay budget. You're not going to be needing any more than, like, 250,000 coins to do this. Fingers crossed. I've got a list of around 20 different SBCs that you have to go and complete right now in FIFA 21. And I've compiled this list based on the best value for coins as well. I've completed some of them already. I still have some to complete. And over the course of this week on streams and stuff, I will be completing these SBCs and then redoing the league SBCs to make sure that they refresh and I can go and redo some of these different SBCs. So moving into the first one, it's one that everyone in the NAN knows about. It is going to be Bayern Munich. You can complete this relatively cheap and you will be getting yourself a Prime Gold Players Pack for this. Prime Gold Players Pack, in my opinion, they don't pay out too well, but it honestly, isn't the worst reward in the world. After that, it is going to be the Bayer Leverkusen one because you can get yourself a premium gold players pack, untradeable. And this one isn't really going to cost you too much either, which is very, very nice. After that, it is going to be RB Leipzig. Again, you get a rare Electrum players pack. And I've tried to keep these as low as possible because I don't think that Electrums are the best. But if you're going to do any of them, I'd recommend to do the RB Leipzig one because you can complete the full Bundesliga SBC and you get a 100k pack at the end of it. And then obviously all the other ones will refresh, which is really, really good. So I'll be Leipzig next. And then finally, it is going to be Werder Bremen. Again, these are going to be the only two, as far as I'm aware, that are premium Electrums. I'm not really that keen on Electrum packs because you can get silvers and bronze in there. And from that, you will be getting yourself a 100k pack. And if we go over to the Bundesliga, as you'll be able to see here, 100k pack for Team of the Year. It's not the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Next up, though, I am going to be jumping over to the Serie A. And this one is another one that you could complete all the way through to get that 100k pack. And as far as I'm aware, it's sort of middle-ish price. But there are some SBCs that you definitely need to do from this. If there's any that I've missed out from this, let me know down in the comments section. But in my opinion, I think these are the best ones. First one is going to be Lazio. You will be getting yourself a premium gold players pack for this. And then if I just go down ever so slightly, it is going to be Napoli as the next one because you do get yourself another premium gold players pack, both of which are relatively cheap to complete. And you will be getting yourself, as far as I'm aware, I think that value is around 25,000 coins. So 50k is worth of packs just for, I think, as far as I'm aware, off the top of my head, it'll cost you around 20,000 coins to complete on both consoles there or thereabouts if you snipe a lot of the players but not bad this one in my opinion. So what we're going to do next is we're going to jump over to the next one and we're going to go over to Championship and in my opinion I think this is the best valued league SBC because you can complete it at this current time for 100,000 coins and I actually don't think that the packs that you get from the majority of them are too bad like you can see here you do get some silvers but they are tradable which is the big thing because if you get anything that can go into different league SBCs you can either sell it or put it into those different SBCs so it's really good for stacking your club boat with silvers. However, moving into the first one, it is going to be the Bournemouth SBC. As you can see here, you do get yourself a small prime mixed players pack. And again, this one is a pretty decent value for coins. Again, we don't really want to be getting silvers and bronzes in there. However, it, I feel like it does have to make this list. Moving into the next one, it is going to be sticking with the championship, obviously, and it is going to be going over to Derby County, who again, prime mixed players pack, not really too bad. Carry on going. We are going to go down to Nottingham Forest, prime mixed players once again. And then what we're going to do is go over to Red prime mix players and then you can go to Sheffield Wednesday which will be prime electrums again I'm not overly keen on loads of packs that can give you silvers and bronzes and stuff
stuff like that. But with this one, for completing this whole SBC, you can do it pretty cheap. And for the end of it, you will get yourself a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack, which it's not too bad. It could definitely be better, but it's not too bad. Next up, it is going to be the Premier League, an ultimate pack for completing all these, which is not really too bad. First up, though, it is going to be Everton that we are going to go over to. And you will be getting a small Prime Gold Players Pack from this. Next up, it is going to be Arsenal because you can get yourself a Premium Gold Players Pack again. This is a 72 rated team overall, which I don't think is too bad. Main thing with this, boys, is you will have to snipe quite a few of the players, which is the only issue with this. Moving it next, we are going to go over to Liverpool. I have already completed this one. Prime Gold Players Pack for that. Next up is going to be Manchester City. You get a Mega Pack for that. And then going down when it is going to be Manchester United because you get yourself a small Prime Players Pack. Again, you could do the Premier League SBC because there isn't actually... They're not woeful packs. They're really, really not woeful packs. The only issue is there are a lot of Electrums in there and the value for coins is ever so slightly skew with because, like for example, if you go over to West Brom to complete that, it's, it's way too expensive, boys. It's honestly so, so expensive. But let's jump into the next one anyway. Next up, it is going to be Ligue 1 Uber Eats. And you do get a Jumbo Rare Players Pack from this one as well, which is something that we always like to see. And from Ligue 1, there's only two SBCs that I would recommend from this. Again, you can complete all of them and it will bring the cost down ever so slightly. And it is going to be OGC Nice because it's going to be a small Prime Gold Players Pack. And I feel like these small Prime Gold Players Packs, in my opinion, are actually pretty decent. Carrying on going, we are going to jump over to the next one and it is obviously going to be PSG because it does give you a mega pack from this. This is another one though that you can complete and get a 100k pack from. I just don't feel like the individual packs themselves are the best. However, it's pretty low cost in comparison to say the Premier League La Liga Santander. So it's just one that I just, I don't know. So it's up to you boys. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm being very liberal here. It's completely up to you though. Moving swiftly on, we are going to go to the Super League. I wouldn't recommend to complete this all the way through. There are just two SBCs from this that I'd recommend to go and do. And the first one is going to be at Lanciapo, at Lanciapo, as far as I'm aware. No, it's not. I'm talking out my ass, boys. I've wrote down the complete wrong SBC. Alanya support. This one, small prime gold players pack. Again, I feel like they're not too bad packs for team of the year in general. And then the next one from this is going to be the Fenerbahce SBC, which does give you another small prime gold players pack as well. Like I said, though, boys, this one really, really isn't worth repeating. You can do if you want to, just to stock up on silvers, but... I... Yeah. Moving into the final league SBC for an actual league. It is going to be the La Liga Santander. This is a relatively new one and prices haven't really stabilized too much yet. However, you can do the Atletico Madrid SBC at the minute on a very, very decent budget. This one out of all of this video, I'd highly recommend to go and do this one because it is pretty cheap at the minute and it has got the best value for coins rating over on Footbin. Prime Gold Players Pack, just for completing this. And as you'll be able to see right here, you only need six Atletico players and typically you'll already have these in your club or already really really good one to do only four rare players as well it's very very cheap to do moving into the next one it is going to be barcelona likewise with this one i feel like you might have some of these players already in your club so that's why it makes this list because you can get a mega pack from it moving into the next one it is obviously going to be real madrid a 50k pack from a league sbc whether it's untradeable or not in my opinion is actually really really good fingers crossed though that you do have a lot of those players from real madrid already in your club because they are mega mega expensive and then the last one is going to be sevilla which does give you a premium gold player pack and this one is relatively cheap to complete as well and I think at the end of this video what we're going to do I'm just going to go and complete one of these random SBCs and just end off on a pack I think that's the best thing that we can do moving into a couple of different ones that I would recommend just some honorable mentions it is going to be UEFA Champions League SBCs go and do the semi-finals in my opinion prime gold players pack for this and all you need is rare or common UCL players and you can literally just pick one league it's really not expensive to do you should have some of these in your club already if you've been playing the game for a bit and then finally it is going to be the final one because you do get yourself a mega pack from that and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to back out and i've just got one honorable 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 mention from the common belt libertadores and it is going to be the brazil one mainly or if you want to you can do the semi-finals as well but i think that's where i pretty much finish off on all these different SBCs. these are going to be SBCs that i'm going to complete all week on stream i am probably going to be doing the individual league SBCs on stream this week as well. I think I'd like to do the Prem. I'd really like to do the La Liga Santander considering that I've already got three done as well. So it just makes a lot of sense for me to complete those. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off, do an SBC and we're just going to open a pack to end the video. 
I think that's the best thing to do at the minute. So boys, went and did the severe SBC and we do get ourselves a premium gold players pack. But if you think that there's anyone who should have been in this list or any of the SBCs, please do let me know down in the comment section. We'll be getting ourselves a board for this, which is better than nothing. It's going to be Spanish, which you never want to see left back. But nah, it definitely could have been better, boys, couldn't it? It definitely could have been better. Like I said, though, lads, I am going to be doing streams pretty much every day after today as far as I'm just doing a video today because I've got college later on so I just wanted to make sure I still had some content going up so boys if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like on it like target on this video is going to be over one like let's see if we can smash it comment down below if you need help with anything subscribe if you're new this is Betty Six Lewis and I am off goodbye